Hello, I'm a teacher of English language of high pedagogical college named after Jehan Shadus Mohamedov is Kalkova Kuralaya Mangildina. Today I will present the practical English lesson Traveling and Types of Traveling. Our lesson objectives are to develop students' skills to express their opinion, to develop students' creativity, to develop students' skills in listening, reading, and writing, to enrich vocabulary of the topic traveling, to teach the students to understand and respect the traditions and the culture of other countries. And now, let's read the quotes of famous people. Do you agree with them? Traveling is one way of lengthening life. Benjamin Franklin He that travels far knows much. John Clark Be glad of life because it gives you the chance to love, to work, to play, and to look up the stars. Henry Van Dyke And you, what do you think about these ideas? Now, Let's try to get the topic of our lesson. If you guess correctly all the words, you will be able to name our topic. You buy it if you want to go by bus or by plane or by car. Ticket. A gray animal likes cheese, but it's bigger than a mouse. A rat. Where can you see a lot of planes? An airport. Tomato, cucumbers are vegetables. Machine that moves people between floors, levels and decks of a building. An elevator. It's so yellow fruits. A lemon. French, English, German are languages. It's a sweet and frozen food. An ice cream. It is all the animals, plants and other things in the world that are not made by human. A nature. Football, tennis, or games. Well, it's traveling. We are going to speak about traveling, about the ways of travel. If you want to get somewhere, you can go there by plane, by train, by ship, by car, hiking and hitchhiking, traveling by bicycles. This is all types of traveling. We know that many people are fond of traveling. Let's answer some questions. Why do people like to travel? They want to learn about different countries, culture, and sightseeing. Maybe traveling is good because you can meet new friends or you can visit famous museums, galleries, buy souvenirs and of course you can learn about national traditions of many countries. And you, what do you think? Why do people like to travel? Next question is, what kind of transport do you prefer to travel? I prefer to travel by car because I can stop when and day I want and enjoy nature. I prefer to travel by sea because I enjoy the wind and the sea. I prefer to travel by plane 
because it's the quickest means of transport and comfortable. And I prefer to travel by train because it's the most convenient and not expensive. And you, what kind of transport do you prefer to travel? While traveling, we often go sightseeing. As a rule, tourists visit some of these places. Cathedral, theater, palace, museum, park, monuments, bridge, galleries. Could you add some new words to this list of sightseeing? Let's speak about the things that tourists often do on holidays. Look around, take photos, spend a lot of money, buy souvenirs, do shopping, lose their way, go sightseeing, have a good time. And you students. What do you usually do during your journey? Here you can see the basic vocabulary on the topic of traveling. What is travel connected with? Where can you travel? How can you travel? The things that we need during our journey and activities we do while we are traveling. And now Let's watch the video about traveling. Pay attention to the new words and new expressions. For the homework, you have to write some tips or advices that would make your travel better. Use new words as much as possible. Make a dialogue on this topic. Today, during the lesson, we have studied the topic travel. We have learned new words and new expressions on this topic. We have known the types of travel. We have met with ideas of famous people and we have watched the video about traveling. I'd like to finish our lesson with words. The world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page. And now I say goodbye, follow the dream and good luck to you.